Stroke! Stroke! Stop mocking me! Hello and welcome to Standing Up School. <laughs> and you fail. Tails? Where's a Luigi? We decided to do a swap for the day. You know, mix things up a little. Yeah, sounds good. Well, you wait for your turn. Turns? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's fly. I love a flying. Let's be careful, though. We only got the three extra lives. Three? M Dog, I've got infinite lives. I'm basically like if Hugh Jackman in The Prestige was a furry. Whee! Aw, oh, man. I can't break any of these bricks without the mushroom. Don't worry your tiny little head. Leave it to me. Whoa. How did you do that? Do you have a spiky hedgehog quills or two? Nope. No clue why a fox would be able to do that. He is the best huh? sidekick ever. Oh man, I bet the Sonic's having the worst time with the Luigi right now. So, can you fly? Yeah, if you got the Tanuki tail. We do not have mythical animals of Japanese folklore here. Just robots. Oh, well, don't worry. I've got um, lots of special skills, like uh, jumping slightly higher than the Mario. <laughs> uh, is there a bathroom in here? I have to take a Luigi. Ah. Uh.
like a champ he is. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And that's how you make a duck out of an oatmeal container. This is the greatest show in the history of television. Mother Maggie, you are a kindred spirit. This must be how twins who were separated at birth feel when they first... Table 13, the fish is for the gentleman and the chicken is for the lady. Got it. Great. Is that our food? The fish is for the gentleman and the chicken is for the lady. I'll be right back, folks. Well, thanks for picking me to break in your new Discover card with. Hey, thanks for co-signing for it. My pleasure. <sighs> Brian, I can't help but notice you're a little uncomfortable spending time with me. I thought you said you weren't ashamed of me. What are you talking about? Because I made you lie down in the back seat all the way here? You look tired. It just seems like you're always taking me to out-of-the-way places to avoid being seen together. Like yesterday. Come on, that's not true. I just wanted to show you a beautiful view. Wow. Check out that big blue marble. Look, there's another shuttle. Get away from the window! Small tree is sold in Chilnok. Okay, maybe... Maybe this has been a little weirder for me than I thought. I'm sorry, Ida. I... I really care about you, and you deserve better. Can I help you? The fish is for... The fish is for me. And the chicken... The chicken is for my girlfriend, Ida Davis. Girlfriend? Are you sure, Brian? I'm sure. And from now on, I'm not hiding anything. Like Peter and his formaldehyde jar. Targets followed the obese controller to where his special surprise had been prepared. Sir, I hate to pry, but this looks more like a giant mass of ravenous living tissue than a special surprise. Tonga screamed as his front wheels were dangled over the edge of the flesh pit. Your surprise is early retirement and subsequent absorption into the glorious mass. You'll be happier this way. I think we all will, spoke Topham calmly. Tongus was pushed all the way over the edge and descended into the creepy scars screaming. Jimmy, I'm so glad you're here. I came as quickly as I can. So what happened? A wild llama bit me in the leg, and now they'll have to act a bit. The llama? No, my fucking leg. Well, do that now. I'm not my living hope. Me and my family will make a fundraiser to gather enough money to afford new head tech like prosthesis. But that prosthesis I'll be able to live a normal life and be happy with the ones I love. Great. How much you have to gather? About $10,000. What? How pathetic. With that kind of money you could save a child from death. But I am a child. <laughs> no, you're a fucking loser of life. I've seen people doing better without having two legs. And probably you got bitten because you tried to have sex with that llama. Wasn't it like that, Carl? But Jimmy... Wasn't it? Jimmy, please. I don't want you to be my friend anymore. And now excuse me, but I...